So it is Wednesday and we have new content and I will be the show 24 Diamond Dynasty. For some reason, they decided to do content on Wednesday instead of Tuesday this week. Um, yeah, we have a solid amount of content, nothing too spectacular, but a bunch of new cards and new packs before Friday's update, which is a big one with Team Affinity. But without further ado, let's get into the video. As always with content updates, we look at the calendar first. Today is April 10th. Look out for new The Show Classics. Those came out today in a choice pack. Annoying that it's all in a choice pack and not in the program. But anyways, we also got a new headliner today, of course. And then looking forward, we have a lot of content that's coming up. Thank God, because for some reason, I'm out of content to do in this game. Uh, but anyway, we have on this Friday, April 12th, Team Affinity Chapter 2 for Season 1. They already revealed a couple of them. I'm going to be making a video on the ones that they reveal tomorrow. But they are 93 overall, so substan substantially higher than current cards in the game. And will hopefully be eligible for those captain boosts. Uh, we have a new ranked program, new BR, a new BR program, and a new event. So a complete reset to the online modes. And then the following week, so next week actually, <laughs> on April 15th, I believe that is a Monday, we have a Jackie Robinson Day program. They typically do this every year on Jackie Robinson Day. They give us a free diamond Jackie Robinson. You just complete a couple missions and then you get a Jackie Robinson card. And then a week from this Friday, so in a week and two days, on April 19th, we have season awards and the first lightning player. So Jackson Holiday just got called up and he's supercharged and for some reason you can get him for free in the store um obviously the item is no sell i mean i'll i think i already have jackson holiday but i'll take a free jackson holiday and then there's also a free i mean if you want to look at his stats those are his stats we also have a free 90 overall jazz chisholm from and we'll, this is a card this is a classics card from mlb the show 22 should be identical stats yes it is so overall Nothing really too spectacular about this card. It's just a decent hitter across the board. Doesn't do anything special. Defensively, he has diamond defense, second, third, and short. And the speed is good as well. The speed is really good. Ultimately, with free stuff, you can never complain because it's completely free. But anyway, moving on to the headliners. We have a new headliner, and it is Jefferson Guerrero. I think that's how you say it. Uh, if I pronounce that poorly, I, I apologize. Uh, but anyway, catcher from the Milwaukee Brewers. He's got 84, 80 contact, 86, 78 power with 79 clutch. So overall, a pretty solid hitter. And he has 44 speed, so he is eligible for the Nolan Arenado boost. Meaning if he is on your team and you have Nolan Arenado activated, he'll get a boost to power left, contact right, and clutch, and defense. So he'll be like 99 fielding. So if you have the Arenado boost, this card could be pretty solid. Uh, but ultimately, just not a bad card overall for headliners. It's insanely good defensively. I will say that. That is really valuable at catcher. He's going for around like 40 to 30k, I would assume, after all these people open their packs. So now we have the show classics. Now, what the classics are in MLB The Show is these are just cards from previous years that they bring back into the current year. So all these cards were from previous games. This is a choice pack in the show shop with 40k stubs. Um, there is a base tier, a mid tier, and a rare tier. So there are three tiers. The base is 91 overall, the mid tier is 94, and the rare is 95. This does bring up a topic of discussion where a lot of cards that have entered the game in the past few weeks have been through choice packs, and these choice packs have not been obtainable anywhere else. Ultimately, I hate, I personally don't like it when people say that the cards and packs are pay to win or like buy. 95 for this example it's just not true because the currency that you buy is stubs and stubs you can get for free in the game i hate when people say these guys are behind a paywall because they're not you can literally get them by getting by making stubs which you get by playing the game and not buying them ultimately it's a lot more difficult of course because they're in choice packs and they're more expensive i'm not saying that's not correct but I personally don't like when people say that they're behind a paywall because they're just flat out not. If they were behind a paywall, it would be like Madden in 2K, where if you want to buy packs, you have to buy like the Mutt points or like the VC, and you can't buy play. Like that's ultimately what I'm trying to trying to say here is I don't think these are behind a paywall. Anyways, let me stop yapping. I just wanted to bring that up because a lot of people have complained about that recently. 
Um, ultimately, we need to start having these packs in programs or just these cards in programs instead, instead of just packs. If you have the pack and the program, sure. And they should be the same overall. It shouldn't be higher in the packs. But anyway, let me stop yapping, actually. And let's go over these cards. So for the rare tier, we have a 95 overall Lightning Nick Castellanos. As there's a deep drive in the left field by Castellanos. This was before that meme. Insane hitting across the board. This is one of the best hitters in the game right now. 97-125 contact. 104-112 power with 99 clutch. So this card is a really good hitter across the board. Defense is okay. Silver can play right, left, first, and third. This is a really, really good card. This is an S-tier card in the game today. For the other 95, we have Edward Cabrera. He is back. This was one of the best pitchers in the game and that will be the show 21. Sinker, slider, curveball, changeup, four seam. Control is there. The break is there. The speed differentials are there. He is outlier on the sinker, of course. Those of you who remember playing MLB The Show 21, this guy was so hard to hit. He's going to be very hard to hit again now. Moving on to the mid tier. So we're talking about the Orioles tier. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just like joking around with one of my friends who's an Orioles fan. But anyway, the mid tier we have Taylor Trammell, 94 overall, high contact, power is a little lower. This card is from MLB The Show 20. 82 70 power 98 clutch so overall not a bad hitter good contact decent good enough power i would say defense is very good 92 fielding the arm is really bad though he has a noodle arm speed is elite though 94 94 93 we have mike soroka sinker slider four seam circle change cutter great pitch mix great control okay break on those other three pitches velocity isn't the best i would stay away from this card strictly because the per nines are bad and the velocity is bad but he has a great pitch mix and then moving on to the base tier, we have a 91 Miguel Andujar, Player of the Month card from MLB The Show 18. As a Yankees fan, it makes me sad to see this because he had such a good rookie year and then he just did nothing after. Anyway, 96-100 clutch, or no, 96-100 contact, 104-74 power with 97 clutch. Defense is never good with Andujar, but he has a good arm at 90 arm strength. He can only play third base. So overall, just a really good hitter. Defense is never going to be there with Andujar cards. Continuing with the base tier, we have Kyle Lewis, the 42 series. This is also from MLB The Show 21. Looking at this card overall, you know, good contact right power right, great power left, contact left only at 70, 75 clutch. So the contact left in the 75 clutch is a little concerning, but overall not terrible. And defensively, he's average. Silver is like around average. Really good arm though with 92 arm strength and okay speed with 70, 62. We have Logan Webb, sinker slider, change up forcing cutter now. Eh, but the pronouns are kind of lower. Good, you know, solid pitching card. But hope for a little... This is kind of just Mike Soroka, but a little worse per nines. And everything else is the same. And he's probably so much cheaper. So if you're going to get any of the two, get Logan Webb instead, in my opinion. And that is it for the show classics. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments your opinions on what I was talking about with like the choice packs and not having any of them in the programs i just want to hear your guys feedback uh but anyway yeah that's gonna be for this video if you guys are new here follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter tiktok but most importantly make sure you're subscribing here on youtube so yeah see you guys in the next one peace